Welcome everyone. What's one of the single most important things you could possibly have on your workbench when working with electronics? Well, that'd be a good benchtop power supply. Now, the ones you go out and buy, they're pretty expensive. Some of the ones on the cheaper side can be as much as a hundred bucks, which I think is kind of crazy. But those are very nice because you get the adjustable voltage and current on them. But anyways, today we're going to build one out of an old computer power supply. Now this one here I have is rated at 16 amps on 5 volts, 2 amps on 12 volts, and 8 amps on 3.3 volts, which is plenty good for anything I'm going to need it for. I'm not powering anything huge, just ease simple circuits with it. Alright, now let's get to take it apart. Now the first thing is, do not have it plugged up. <laughs> that should be common sense. Alright, let's tear into it. Okay, we're inside of it. Now this one here, I've already cut all the plugs off of it. Now the next thing we need to do is go in and unhook everything. You need to hook your fan, hook your AC in supply coming in, and then this one here has four screws holding it to the case. Alright, now that we have our board out of the case, what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate pretty much all of these wires. Now the wires we're going to be keeping are going to be the green wire, the gray wire, we're going to keep an orange, a yellow, a red, and two blacks. Now the green wire, this is the wire that will turn the power supply on when it's connected to a black wire or a ground. So you ground this wire, it turns the power supply on. The orange wire, that's a 3.3 volt. The yellow wire, that's 12 volts. And red, that's 5 volts. So next, we're going to turn it over. You can see these large solder blobs. That's where all of these wires are grouped together. So turn your soldering iron up good and hot and start desoldering those. Now as I'm desoldering these bunches of wires I am taking one and soldering it back in place. That way I'm not pulling them all out and then not being able to remember what ones went where. Some of the wires, such as the blue and the purple, those are negative voltage. There's a negative five volt and then negative 12 volts. I'm just gonna cut them off. That way I know where they're at because maybe in the future I'd like to have that feature of having a negative voltage. It's something that I have never used but just in case if I ever need that I'll be able to easily have it hooked up Take down, twist them Thank you. 
Now the switch I'm using is just a little small switch. It don't take much. Any type of switch you want to use will work. There's our on off switch wired up. The gray wire is for telling the computer that the power supply is in good shape. We're going to use that as a power wire or as a status wire. So actually this is a 5 volt. So I have an LED that I fixed up here with a resistor on it. So I'm going to hook the 5 volts to one side of the LED and a ground to the side of the LED with a resistor. Now I'm actually going to run the ground wire from my LED from the ground side of my switch to the resistor on the LED. Okay, now I have our power switch and our status LED. Now to connect your wires to whatever you're wanting to power, you could either use some banana plugs or some little alligator clips. I'm gonna go with some of these little clips for right now. Just gonna solder them on. Now these clips actually have some little Crips right here. I'll do that. And then solder my wire to the coat. There we go, one down, three more to go. There we go, all my connections soldered up. Good to go. Now to put the board back in the case and connect everything up. All right, there it is all together. Now you can, for your switch and your LED, you could make it a little panel. Um, I even see a lot of people to where they make holes into the case and they'll mount them in there. I actually have one that I did that too, but uh, I think eventually I'll make a, a panel for it <clears throat> to mount these on. But for now, we're in good shape. Power it up and give it a test. All right, we're all hooked up. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Ah, our LED's on. The fan's running. We have power. Let's see what we can run. 12 volts. There we go. A bench sharp power supply with 12 volts, 5 volts, and 3.3 volts. So, until next time, get out there and just go make it. <laughs>